Today I'm going to have a go at marbling some pillars. Now this is a top tip for interior designers and again it depends on what you're actually doing. In this instance um, a client is looking to have these uh, pillars marbled and it is a faux paint effect. I suppose it comes under the umbrella of the decorative arts. Um, it's very hard to get somebody to be able to do this well in this day and age. It's an old, old trade um, that you would have seen right through from Georgian Victorian to Edwardian times. It was particularly popular in Edwardian times and where you'd see it would be on fireplaces that were actually made from slate, a cheaper stone, and then they would be marbled to kind of, you know, um, enhance the opulent look of the fireplace itself. Now often you see these um, more decorative fireplaces in the front of Edwardian houses and the old cast iron ones you'd find in at the back. Okay, so I'm going to have a go here. Now this is a top tip actually. Instead of drawing this whole thing out, if I marble directly onto the pillars themselves from a photograph, all the nuances of light and shade are kept on the photograph. And this is a particularly um, useful tip when using markers because the marker doesn't sit on on top of the image it seeps right through it keeps the light and shade so you get a very realistic effect in some of my previous videos um, I have showed you say certain marbling techniques and that but I haven't actually done it in reality onto you know um, an existing surface so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to block out in, if you like, a base colour just to get um, the lighter and darker areas in and get some of the veining in as well. And again, uh, if I was doing this in reality, which I may very well be soon, the, um, the base coats and colours would go on almost exactly like I'm doing in the markers now so it's useful to do something like this to build up the nuance and to kind of get to know the colours that you're going to be using or layering on. Now in this case I want to uh, render this pillar in sienna marble but I want it to be quite light. I don't want it to be one of the darker sienna marbles because I think the contrast would be too great with the building itself. Okay, so immediately you can see that uh, marble effect working really well as the markers just seep into the image and keep the light and shade that I was talking about before. Now this is a good neutral, it's, it's a satin pro marker, it's a very good neutral even for shading but it's you know it's a warm color it has kind of tones of yellow and um, undertones of pink in it as well and so I'm going to get my base coat on and in reality when actually doing this I would be putting the base coat on in exactly the same way and then I can get a good sense of you know where the veining is and where I'm going to build up darker colours, the more yellow, um, yellow oak or more vibrant colours in this. And like I said before, I don't want too much of this because um, I think there'll be too much contrast. Okay, so already you're getting that nice marble effect. I'm going to go over it again just to darken it in areas. put in a slightly yellower colour just here and there and again I'm moving the nib of the pen to get that sort of feathered effect to give the idea of you know how the marble would have been built up over millions of years And 
just using the tip of the pen to put in some more kind of fine lines. You can get various colours in sienna marble. Um, I think I went into that in my last video. It can be a very bright yellow ochre down to more beige shades. Now I'm just going to pull a little bit of veining in. The veining in sienna marble can be quite dark, you know, through from an aubergine colour to um, a rust brown. And I don't want to overdo it either. I'm just going to put in a few veins. And with the sun shining directly on this, you wouldn't really see much of this. And again, I'm moving the pencil around in a kind of a scribble-like manner just to um, get that, you know, kind of broken line of the veining in. I'm just going to tip in some of the sunshine yellow. Again, like I said, I don't want to overdo it, so I'm just going to literally hit it here and there, just tipping the top of the pen off um, the page. And I'll go over it in a colouring pencil now in a minute. So you see I'm using that scribble-like effect so as not to um, put too much in or make it too flat or too straight a line. Now I'm just going to take the colouring pencil here, go over that just to take it up a little bit, put a little bit more yellow in. And you can see you really don't need much of this. this with a little bit of white just to take it down a tiny bit just here and there Now, and that's how you change your white pillars to sienna marble pillars.